Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. And right here next to me, we're gonna be unboxing this. This is a ring light for video, for talking on the camera. It has a mount on there. You can put your cell phone. If you're doing makeup tutorials for you ladies, guys, if they're doing haircut tutorials, you name it. Or also if you're just vlogging on camera and need some light, if you're doing it during the nighttime. This is by the company ESDDI. And just like all my unboxing and review videos, in the description box below the video, you're gonna find the link for this exact same ring light. And you guys in the UK, if they sell it in the UK, I will have you linked as well. If not, one very similar to it, that will be again in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get this out, show it to you and show you some options that it has with it. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. All right, it's a big box here, so let's go ahead and get this out and so we can start checking out all the different pieces it comes with. All right, we have our nice little little Karen case there. And this will probably be our tripod mount there. And that's gonna do it for the box. Let's start with this white one here. And inside we do have our tripod and also what looks to be a little bracket holder as well. We're gonna get to that in just a second. Let's go ahead and see what we have here. This is again, we'll get some more shots of this here. I need to find out exactly how we piece this together here. But this is our nice mount. That's either aluminum or steel. And then this was in the bubble wrap here. Our second piece, again, we're gonna figure all this out in a little bit here. Let's go ahead and see what is inside of our case here. And we have our instruction manual here, LED photo video light. The, the precise model number is the PLV-R360. We have a nice plug here. You might need to know exactly the cord length of this if you are setting this up in a home studio. So I'm gonna go tip to tip. That is actually a very long cord. I'm gonna go with easily about an eight foot plug there for your power. We have our cell phone holder here with a tripod down here with adjustable. So you can literally go back and up and forth. So that's really nice. Also that pivots this way as well, all the way around, screws in. And then this also can screw in that way if you wanna go that direction as well, again, with this on the bottom. All right, here is our LED light here. So let's get this guy out of the bubble wrap. And that is a nice case for it as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the ring light now. So we have a, the company logo right on the front with adjustable hook here coming down to the mount here. And then we can have a little bracket screw there, putting it in different directions. We're gonna again show you all that. So that would loosen, this would come down or that would go this way, or that would go all the way up this way, tightening it back up for the tripod. Here is your power cord insert here. We do have a tripod, threaded tripod screw there, threaded tripod screw there. You do have a dial up on top right that goes 10 to 100%. And we have one over to the left that goes 3200 to 5600K. The LED is 360 pieces, power is 40W, and it's input AC 100 through 240 volt, 50 through 60 Hertz. That says the same information on both the left and the right side. And then we have our power switch right here and just coming down to screws on the top here and here and then coming around to our light let's try to get that in full frame there there we go right there let's go ahead and set this up and obviously it's daytime so let's go ahead and get a couple shots with what it would look like in maybe a uh, regular home cooking daytime shot and then we'll get some shots of what it looks like in the evening nighttime and here is the tripod all set up here so these were folded up like this and then they fold down and this is it fully extended up and that is a solid to the top of this i'm five nine and so that's probably easily six foot six foot one or so all the way to the tip if you needed it that high we'll figure out what this one goes to but this one actually bends so that is a good mounting feature as well all right let's go ahead and look at the light now we have it all hooked up here this mount slips right on top of this top one here i've now lowered it power plug is inserted. Let's go ahead and play with some knobs here. That's very nice. That's kind of more of a cool. It's kind of going to be hard, a little bit hard to pick up on camera. That's a little bit cool there. Let's go ahead and, and raise it to a more warmer, I should say there. Again, your white balance on my camera filming this isn't going to be as delicate, but okay, now we're more of a cool blue light. 
coming into a neutral kind of hyper white and then over here to a nice warm. So this would be nice for a shot like this. Let me show you. So let's say you were doing some sort of vlogging where you needed a little bit more light. You put your cell phone holder right in the middle of it and you could back up and obviously you see the rings in my eyes. That's the only downside to a shot like this. I guess you could edit it and post. That was the warm shot right here. Let's go to a more neutral, hyper white, and then let's go to a really blue, blue, kind of a really cool here. And so those are great options and features. Let me turn that off for a second. So the cell phone holder is meant to go right here. And so that just latches down like this. And again, this button, you know, you could raise it up, you could raise it down, tilt it, and then tighten that up there. And then your phone would go right into the slot here, raise that up. And I have a Samsung S8 Plus and that has plenty of room. Your iPhone Pluses would fit in there really easily. Google Pixel 3 2s that would shut down and you would be able to film with that right in the middle. This is an option that you do have. If you didn't even want to use it for makeup tutorials or hair cutting tutorials, you could literally just bend that in a fashion. Instead of a light box to shine on when you're vlogging, inside your house, if you're doing a product review video, I have really nice natural light that comes in, so I like to use my kitchen as my product review station. But if I'm in a pinch and I need to film at nighttime, or up in my office upstairs, then this is a fantastic option, not to mention for my haircut tutorials that I actually do do on this channel as well. Okay, now that we saw the warmth and cool feature, let's go ahead and crank that back on, and let's go ahead and play with the knobs here as we are, I think on, oh wow, that was only on 10%. So this thing gets a lot brighter. Okay, I'm sorry if the camera's gonna mess with you there, but this is getting crazy bright right now, and we won't be able to see the, wow, that is gnarly bright. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's go ahead and crank that down, watch. Uh, obviously we're gonna get some shots in the nighttime, but watch it just kind of start cruising down now, cruising down to 10%. So 10 to 100% is night and day. That is phenomenal. All right guys, it's actually dark now. And so as you can see here, if you were in and you were doing this, whatever type of lighting you wanna do, this is the warm setting with only 10%. I'm gonna go ahead and knock it up and show you a couple different options here. And this is definitely, definitely cool. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm actually filming on, which is I'm using the mount, but with my wireless mic mount on top of the mount that was provided. Okay, this next shot right here is 50% on warm. So you can just go ahead and roll back. Again, the first one was 10% warm. This is 50% warm. Now we're gonna go to 100% warm, which is gonna be crazy. But again, because of the filter around the light, it's not blinding me, I'm not squinting because it's not direct. It's almost like a dentist's light. So hold on, let's go 100. Okay, here is 100, and again, I'm not squinting as long as I'm looking at the camera or the subject. It's not a blinding light. It's definitely a light, but it's like a dentist light where it's not directly in your eyeballs, which is really nice. Again, this is 100% on warm. Now let's quickly go through the other options. We're gonna go 10% neutral, kind of more hyper white, and then we'll work our way over to the kind of a blue light. All right, this is gonna be the hyper white middle of the dial on 10%. Now let's go up to 50. Here we are at 50 on neutral hyper white. Let's go to 100 now. This is gonna be neutral 100%. Now let's go all the way over to the blue light setting 10%. And here is the blue light setting at 10%. And we're gonna go through a few more options, so don't worry if you can't really tell because of these lights over here. Don't worry, we're gonna get to a couple more options in just a second. Again, this is the blue light, 10%. Blue light, 50% right now. The blue light, 50%. Now let's go 100. And here we go, the blue light at 100%. Now let's go ahead and cut these lights and do a few quick options. I'm gonna show you a couple options real quickly. Let's go ahead and talk through this here. This is 100% blue. This is now 50% blue. And this is 10% blue on the same subject, which was me right there. As you can tell, very nice. Now we're gonna go roll over to neutral setting, hyper white at 10%, hyper white at 50% right now, and hyper white at 100%. This is a great light, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and kick it back down to 10% and roll over to the warm setting here. As you can tell on camera, this is looking a lot better than the daytime shots. This is 10% on warm. 
This is 50% right here on warm. And are you ready for 100% on warm? Looking great. I'm going to show you guys my setting here. Now I'm going to have this linked in the description box below, but I am now I'm recording on the S8 Plus's stock audio right here. But this is the beginning of the video. This is a cell phone wireless microphone system. You see it's on the mount that came with it except for it's a different cell phone holder. I plug this into my phone and it's a wireless lavalier mic for your smartphone. So that's what we were filming on right there. And I'll get one more option of it with my face back in the camera there, kind of showing you a better angle. Here is the setup for the distance away. And that's a solid probably eight foot from the light to the chair right over here. Again, a nice long plug, still plenty of line on there, plugged all the way in over here. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit close here so you guys can kind of see. You can see the rings in my eyes, but there are ways to obviously do that in post. A little bit tricky, but that is, if you're gonna be right up against this, you could wear contacts with like anti-glare or something like that, but some people think it's really cool. I think it's pretty cool, as long as it's not too distracting if you're doing some sort of like up close type of uh, makeup tutorial or haircut tutorial, etc. But again, don't just think that up kind of close. Again, think spotlight with the chair, think extra light coming in. You don't even need to use a cell phone holder. It's a nice tripod ring light. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and show you the last couple options here. We're gonna, this is on warm 10%. We're gonna crank it up to 50% here. And probably going this close, you probably, your eyes are gonna get used to it, but you don't want it to go overboard. And so let's go up to 100 here. And again, it is, I mean, I'm right here in front of it. So I'm gonna be squinting just a little bit, but it's not like other LED lights. You know, your eyes do kind of get used to it after a while where you're not squinting or like that, okay? Now let's go back to 10% and let's come up here to the neutral hyper white. This is neutral white 10%. Coming up here to neutral white 50%. And you see my eyes kind of shifting, but it's not bad at all. And then 100% here. And then coming back down to 10%. Now we're going over to blue, blue light 10% right now, coming up to blue 50% right here. And I am about two feet away from the camera lens. Yeah, about two feet or so. And then we're going up to 100% here, blue light. So those are some great options, guys. I personally like the warmer colors or the neutral. You guys might be into the, the blue. Again, this is neutral and then the warm, as you can see the contrast on my face. I'm gonna jump back on the Samsung S8 audio so it shifts just a little bit here, but overall, I was re-watching the footage just now. I like the warmer colors better, but looking at the footage, I thought the blue light on 50% was phenomenal. I mean, obviously, like when you're in a setting, you know, this stuff would be moved out of the way, so there was like a little clutter in the background here, but if I was like just vlogging or whatnot, that angle I thought was just fantastic. And then the blue light, actually, I thought kind of the shadow shadowing on my face and my hair. I thought it was actually very, very nice. So it kind of changes my repertoire of what I think about blue lights. But in the comments below, as you're watching this, let me know what light looked better to you. But what's cool is you got three options. I went all the way down, all the way in the middle, and all the way to the side. There are other settings as well. You don't have to turn the knob one, two, or three. It's a twist knob all the way around. I was just showing you the main one, two, and three. So that is absolutely fantastic features. I actually really, really have enjoyed this light and looking forward to many, many uses with it, especially since I am a YouTuber and need this type of device all the time with darker room lit shots. In the description box below is gonna be this exact same light. So go ahead and look at those links down in the description box below again. Hit that thumbs up button if it has helped you made an informed decision and I'll see you guys on the next video. My name's Chris, take care and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch. We'll see you soon.